Our next guest probably knows more about Hamas than anyone we have ever, ever interviewed. The son of the co-founder of Hamas. Now, he has seen the barbaric group up close and personal, knows all too well about the evils of terror. Take a look at this. Hamas does not serve the Palestinian people. Hamas serves right. Iran. Those are the masters of Hamas. So uh, their lie about nationalism, that they are a national movement and they care for the Palestinian people, look at them. They are using Palestinian people as a human shield. We need to free Gaza from Hamas. This is what Israel is doing. It's doing the Palestinian people the greatest favor by uh, 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 bringing Hamas down. Here now with more, author of the bestseller, Son of Hamas, former informant for Israeli intelligence, Mossab Hassan Youssef, sir. Good, thank you for coming. Good, good to see you. Your, your father was one of the co-founders of Hamas. Correct. Hamas has in their charter the destruction of Israel. What do you know? What, would you, what do you know about Hamas that everybody should know? Well, Hamas is um, not a political party. It's a religious movement that is uh, waging a religious war. It's a holy war against the Jewish people. If Hamas was a political party, then we can apply pressure on them, bring them to the negotiating table where they can compromise. But Hamas, as a religious uh, organization, nobody can satisfy their religious ambition because it's a condition in their charter. Why is this hatred for the Jewish people and Israel? What, what, what is this rooted in? Well, now we can ask the question, why all this uh, Jewish hatred in the United States and the rest of the world? You mean anti-Semitism worldwide? Anti-Semitism and hatred against the Jewish people. Well, you know, well, it doesn't matter what form you state. you grew up the son of one of the founders of Hamas. Why do they hate the Jewish people so much? Uh, there is a re religious dimension to that. There is ideological dimension. There is political dimension. There is cultural difference. You know, we're talking about Hamas. Uh, uh, seventh century mentality, where Israel is very advanced, 21st century. So the gap is very huge. Hamas represents chaos. This is where they thrive. Israel represents order, democracy. Hence, th those are the two opposite extremes that have been clashing. Well, let me ask you this. You just saw a group of people being interviewed by Sarah Carter. They don't know anything about Hamas. They can't say the words Hamas is a terrorist organization. Why are so many people so ignorant of what the truth is? Because I'm sure if Hamas could find you, they would kill you, would they not? Well, they, they wouldn't hesitate, but I'm not the only one on Hamas uh, target list. And these people live in denial, basically. They don't know what Palestine is. And what I say, you know, today as an American, I invite all these people to educate themselves first. And we cannot lose sight because Hamas started this war. What we need to do, we need to remove Hamas from power. If Hamas stays in power, there will be more Gaza wars. But you got Hamas, you got Hezbollah, you got Shia, you got Sunni, you got Syria, you've got... So we need Houthi to make rebels. an example for all Islamists around the world and for all extremists, savages, that if they... Uh, attempt to destroy any democracy, not only Israel, any democratic model, that we will stand united and we will find them together instead of being divided like this. It seems regardless of Sunni or Shia that Iran is, they are, uh, we, we are told they were actively involved in the plotting, the planning, and the killing uh, that happened on Oc October the 7th. It would be the equivalent, if you base it on our population versus Israel, of losing 38,000 Americans in a day. Um, we lost 2,977 on 9-11. Mm -hmm. And so is this a belief system? Is this convert or die? Is this ISIS-like? either the world converts to Islam or their version of Islam, radical Islam, or they get killed, they're infidels? Well, there is the Islamic ideology that inspires them, Hassan al-Banna teachings radical and intellect. Radical Islamic ideology. That's one. Then there is tribalism, you know, which is seventh century mentality, 
where a tribe used to fight a tribe for 100 years until they get annihilated or they annihilate the tribe. So this is what Hamas is saying. It's the Arabian mentality that they view Israel as a tribe. They want to keep trying until they annihilate Israel or get annihilated in the, in the process. Well, you, you see this anti-Semitism. It's, it's all over Europe. It's all over the world. It's in our colleges. It's in the halls of Congress. Why do you think that somehow so many have been indoctrinated into a belief system that somehow thinks Israel is the problem when the war was started by the terrorists? The war was brought to innocent people. Innocent people were killed this day. Since when do we blame victims? Uh, why are so many people that, that Sarah speaks to so ignorant of who these people are, what their aim is, what their goals are? Yeah, they don't have the, the power to just condemn Hamas as a terrorist group. They don't have the designate. power, they don't have the knowledge. Are they uh, ignorant? And can be in denial because they just want to project whatever they want. What made you get away from your family? You know, this is a long journey. I did not leave Hamas uh, yesterday. It has been, uh, been 25 years right. since I decided that this is a dangerous movement and we have to fight against it. And if they, if they knew where you were on any given day, you'd it, be a dead man. It doesn't man. matter. I'm not scared of Hamas. I'm not asking if you're scared. But if they knew you, with where to find you, they would kill you. Uh, they, they wouldn't hesitate. Not at all. They wouldn't hesitate. Son of a Moss, it's a best-selling book, and you wrote it years ago. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.